Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us uh, this afternoon and thank you very much to Affinity and to Amat in particular for feeding us so well before our, our gathering here. Um, this, of course, is NAIDOC week, which is a week where we celebrate uh, our Indigenous Australians. And it gives me great pleasure to, um, in the absence of an Indigenous person, um, it gives me pleasure to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Um, I might ask Tanya later, uh, which group are from Newcastle? Because Tanya's come down all the way from Newcastle, uh, which is great. Wabakul and, and Waramai? Yeah, fantastic. That's great. Um, yes, I come, of course, from Sydney University, which is uh, actually an, an area very close to um, Notre Dame as well. Our area there was a traditional meeting place and a place of learning for Indigenous Australians in the area. If you know Victoria Park and the little pond, now a little lake, that was a, a drinking hole for, for kangaroos and other wildlife. And so it became a natural focal point. And the, the Great Hall in, at uh, Sydney University is in fact a burial ground. So it's built above um, traditional... <coughs> Um, meeting place but very serious uh, religious place as well. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here today. This is a series that we've been running inviting deans of law from our leading law schools around Sydney um, to discuss what they're doing and uh, using this notion of interfaith and, and multiculturalism as, as a guide. Um, in this lunchtime series, uh, our aim is, of course, to um, encourage discussion around our topic, but also to introduce you a little bit to the Affinity Multicultural Foundation. It's my great honour to serve on the board of Affinity and to tell you a little bit more about uh, the organisation, uh, which was formed by a young of group... group sorry a group of young Muslims in the year 2000 to promote multiculturalism and to foster intercult intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between um, different groups in society. We like to uh, begin by showing you a small video. Australia is a warm, welcoming, open country. Having respect for all people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. People of all kinds are, are seeing the differences, I think, a little more clearly. For me, it's about returning to the lived experience that, that people have on, on race and ensuring that we live up to the best of our traditions as a country. And the culture that they set will be the culture they inherit. To be able to share more information, whether it's intelligence or case management material, whatever it is, faster and better. In addition, the Department of Social Services is working closely with other departments like employment, education and training, human services and immigration and border protection on improving employment outcomes for humanitarian entrants. And this has got to be the largest number that we've had here. The night is about you and us uh, and as a community. Learning from each other, that's what Australia allows us to do. We are working together to make New South Wales safer. In fact, we have done that for many, many years. As we've come from so many other lands that we were able to meet here 
as one. We are the most culturally diverse country in the world. Uh, we all learn a little bit more about ourselves and about our community. Ramadan is that time of year that Muslims go deep. They reset the clock, take extra time to consciously reflect on their lives and reaffirm their commitment to God and to the precious bonds that connect us all as family and brothers and sisters in humanity. Courage, you know, dedication, you know, um, mateship, sense of, a sense of fairness. What we have seen and experienced by words and music this evening are the sort of things that hold us together and enable us to move forward together. A great career and it's wonderful to see them in the context of a great organisation, Affinity. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors here, especially uh, Mr Ahmed Polat. Thank you so much. Thank you too to the Foundation uh, for the opportunity to be here. Faith is so profoundly important for our development and humanitarian work. Well, we've got some expertise here uh, that is, uh, when it's brought together, is extremely valuable. So I asked the Vice President Global of Education for Microsoft why. And those are the values that I would continue uh, to advocate being taught in law schools in this country. Uh, from a UN report describes Yemen is now the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Thank you all for, um, for being here. Thank you Ahmed and uh, the Affinity team uh, for allowing me to, to speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honour to be here tonight to help launch an exciting new lecture series focused on young people. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, Barack and the Affinity Intercultural Foundation, um, I'd like to acknowledge the fantastic work that you do in the community and um, bringing different cultures and people of different religious backgrounds together. I think it's fantastic. How human rights safeguards children and young people. This is indeed a commendable goal and I'm delighted to be here today to be part of that dialogue. In my view, Affinity is doing excellent work to inform and advance multicultural Australia to keep peace in this country. Congratulations to Affinity. Thank you, Affinity, for this wonderful opportunity. I, with Sev, laud the work of Affinity. Uh, there is no other organization working in the field of interreligious relation that does it the way they do it and promote actual encounter of an ordinary sort between people of all sorts of diversities. I think it's heartwarming. It's one of the few things in life that really continue to give me hope and joy. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you so much. So that young man, Ahmad Pollat, is one of the busiest young men that I know, I've got to say. Um, or should I say my cousin? Yes? <laughs> yes. Um, I am a professor of public law from uh, Sydney Law School. And uh, I've got to say, I think what drew me to affinity is that my entire life, really, as a professional, has been focused on diversity. Uh, my specialty is immigration and refugee law. Um, if you can't talk between cultures in my field, then you may as well pack up and go home. And so I feel I was raised Catholic um, because of my refugee work. Over time, I have had young people that we've drawn into our lives who were Buddhist, who were Muslim, uh, of no faith at all. Um, I think in many ways I am defined by my faith, but as our interlocutors were saying here, faith is what can bring us together. And if we can find the golden threads that equal peace in faith, then surely that's... Anyway, I'll get off my, my, my um, pony here and... and, and uh, introduce our lecturers so we can do what we are planning to do today. But I guess I, I wanted to say that because I think for me that explains why I've joined the Affinity Board but why I think this is so important and why I value each and every one of you coming um, for your lunchtime here to do this because I think it's, it really is a, 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 the element of, 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 fate, of um, future for us. And 
we are fortunate today to have uh, the, the deans, so the leaders, of two very, very interesting uh, law schools. I'm going to start with Professor Tanya Surdin, who is the dean of Newcastle Law School. Um, Newcastle is a place that's very dear to my heart because my sister lives up there and for many years she was single and that community supported her. She's been married for nearly 10 years now but it's an, an amazing, uh, progressive, interesting, engaged and very loving um, community. The law school um, is also in that context a very interesting place in terms of the way that it, it engages and, and teaches its students. Uh, our Dean Tanya, if I may call you that, um, who joins us today has led national research projects and produced important recommendations in the area of alternative dispute resolution and justice reform, which I think works really well with today's uh, topic. The last two decades, uh, she has conducted qualitative and quantitative research projects into aspects of dispute resolution and justice systems in 12 courts and tribunals and six external dispute resolution schemes. Uh, I believe you've also focused on other aspects of justice innovation technology, the problems of delay and systemic reforms. Um, Outside of Australia, uh, Tanya has also um, engaged in various international consultancies, again in, in the context of law reform, and uh, you've retained a practice focus for more than 30 years as a lawyer, 20 years in various senior part-time tribunal positions, and since 2014, she has been the NBN industry dispute resolution advisor. Good luck. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, Professor Michael Quinlan is Dean of the School of Law at Sydney at the University of Notre Dame, Australia. Uh, that is a very interesting university that does an incredible amount of work. Um, I'm very proud of the work it does actually around uh, with Indigenous Australians in Western Australia. I believe I actually attended the very first graduation ceremony that was run by Notre Dame at Broome in the year 2000 when I was up there doing a consultancy for the Human Rights Commission on Immigration Detention Centres. Anyway, um, prior to taking up his role uh, at the university in 2013, Michael had a distinguished career of over 23 years in commercial law in the big law firm of Allens, where he was a commercial litigation partner for more than 14 years. Uh, Michael has, uh, was also, and this is what I find very interesting, a long time member of the firm's pro bono committee uh, with a practice that centred around, you guessed it, immigration and refugee litigation, um, but also assist, involved uh, assisting various um, persons uh, in need and supporting different charities. Um, Michael has a deep interest in the relationship between law and morality and law and religion and I'm looking forward very much to what both of them are going to say today. I'm going to invite Michael to begin um, first. <laughs> 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 